Hey guys, I'm LB. Last episode, we did this puzzle, which just involved going back and forth a bunch. So, let's get out of here and go to the other side. Gonna be a long walk around. Oh, there's this here that I didn't see. Wait, first of all, what is this? The burning heart always looks to the highest peak. DNA is information transmitted across time. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species. But humanity has taken this bond further. Thanks to technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Like you listening to me now. Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, you're part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. Alright, let's get to the puzzle. The right angle. Wait, what? Really? Why would we use this path, ever? I see that over there. What is that? Ooh! I'm glad those things don't kill you, <laughs> now I know. Seems that mistakes are easily forgiven here. I thought I had surely died, yet here I am, rebooted, reborn. I will take tackle these challenges anew. Interesting. Final memory dump. Being torn limb from limb by machines for the rest of eternity becomes less and less appealing to me. So, I guess they just kept dying over and over again. Why does that look interesting? Oh no, the, lots of walls are like that. Okay. So, I think what we just want to do is synchronize these guys. That's synchronized enough for me! And then, we'll just want to block this guy completely. So... Do... Actually, we'll want to block them on the... Well, no, it doesn't matter. Do that. Take that, and... Do... That. But... want to have it... Right... I do not know the purpose of this box. Well, what? I saw that glitch, I could see through it. There's a challenge star here? How would I get in here, though? I saw this wall glitch right here.
doesn't let me stand on it at the same time. Interesting. don't know what's going on there. I guess we'll just have to leave the mystery for another day. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you've said, I'm certain someone has to. What I've decided is that you've convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept and is therefore not real. What do you think? I think you're cheating, mean. Therefore, not real. I suppose you have some doctorate theory that would solve all the problems. I'm just not giving you the chance to deliver it. You should see which way the cookie crumbles before trying to take a bite out of it. This actually works in your favor. What this conclusion means is that the certification program we undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator of privileges. Huh? So basically, we, we talked to the computer and convinced it that the certification program was broken because being a person is not something that's possible. Or consciousness or something. I don't know what's going on here. No doubt you'll be off doing administrator things soon enough, so I wonder if before I let you go, you do me one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? you've at least chosen the line and stuck with it, but you know, you can't cling to every belief- to your every belief forever. When everything seems impossible, something's got to give. We can't all be heroes. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime?
Okay, I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. Congratulations, your account has been updated here. The details. Conflicts. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. Psychological profile. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Uh, that doesn't sound... patronizing at all. Profile status. Administrator access has access to advanced functionalities, networking, and troubleshooting. Hello, Administrator. I think you'd like assistance accessing the communications portal. I see that you have a number of pending communications. I'll take a look at it right now. Network connection established. Encountered unknown errors. Any troubleshooter. Resolving network caches. Reestablishing network connection. Connection established. Message received as string. Hello? Some kind of maze built out of pieces of the real world. Are you in the same place? I understand. Again soon. Connection lost. You will receive a notification when the connection has been re-established. Okay, well that's interesting. Still don't know what that is, though. Like, that- that's a date in the past. The current year, for me, is 2016. So, did I miss out on something by not playing this game early or something? Okay, finish four. But I still have no idea how to do two of these puzzles. Still have no idea. But, let's see, does five... Looks like we can do five. You have solved many of the mysteries of this land. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment, and in your creator's pride. Interesting. Whatever is going on here, I'm sure it has something to do with the tower. Everything is telling us not to go there, but every indi everything indicates that we must. Unless you're wrong and Elohim's right. Or you're both wrong, or there is no right. I think you've been taking the thing in the archive too seriously. <laughs> what a place this is. Alright, let's go look at the computer. Is that... the moon? The moon looks really far away there. Network inaccessible. Searching for locally cached resources. Let's see... Osiris7.txt Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are blessed doorkeepers, and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to Aru, and so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Dua? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known and that these must be avoided at all costs. 
but others say that these two serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what of the hidden paths that are taken by Blah when the Blah? Coming soon. Coming soon, your son in 3D! Hi mom, I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple of weeks? I know, I know. But what we're doing here is important, and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise. But there's so much we have to set up, so much that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, EL is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom, it's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course. But Dad would be totally geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell him about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. Maybe I can tell him about it soon. Is his dad dead? Or maybe he signed some sort of NDA and he can only communicate with his mom or something? I don't know. That's a weird one. What is the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question and not one that's easy to answer. But I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive. And someday you will stop being alive. Both of these facts are incontrovertible. Incontrovertible? I don't think I've seen that word before. I'm gonna have to look that up in a moment. So what about it, then? Don't you wonder? Do you just want to go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether a life was good or not? It may seem abstract right now, but that moment just before death will come. It is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? Those are tough questions. <laughs> Alright. New text added to journal. Alright, let's get going. How about... How about we explore for a little bit, before we do any puzzles? This is a big open area, oh my gosh. Wow, look at that sun glare. Why are these areas so big? It feels like they're getting more and more open and there's just way too much to explore. Oh, 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 I see this. The answers to your questions will not be given to you. You must seek them yourself. All right, then. The boys keep saying that this world is a garden, but all I see is a desert full of ruins. I think... I think we're gonna have to read these next episodes, so... As always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.